from it since they're reworking his HP. So if you're talking about for like the net, like what I think is gonna be like solid for the rest of the preseason, like including next patch, I've been liking Eclipse with um like a Ravenous or like you probably have Eclipse, Yomu's, stuff like that. Rav Eclipse, uh, Cleaver. You can also t go uh, Cleaver, Titanic, Even Shroud, but I don't know how good it's going to be next patch since they are changing how Max HP works. So um, Titanic's going to be a little bit weaker on you, but it still might not be the worst. I'm going to test that out when it this thing goes live. And then, uh, you can also go, like, or you could, I guess you could go Prowlers as well, probably, wouldn't be too bad. I might try to test out Gore Drinker next patch with, like, a Bruiser rebuild and see how it feels. I personally don't like Gore Drinker right now, though, ever since they nerfed it. Feels, like, pretty shitty now, in my opinion. And with Shredbreaker, I both these feel kind of bad, but I'll probably try it out and see how it feels. But I don't think it's gonna feel too too great, honestly. We shall see though. Cause yeah, right now a lot of people are building tank, right? Because this health skills or Skrull's health is bonus health. But next patch they're changing it so it's all oh, base health, so Items like Titanic, Sunfire, Gargoyles are all going to be a lot weaker on you because you're not going to be able to abuse the fact that you had so much bonus HP to get the bonus stats. Like stuff like Gargoyles and Titanic are still going to be usable on Clyde, it's just it's going to be just like a normal champion instead of getting like insane stats from the items. You're just going to get like the normal stats like other champions will get. First Obviously, Clyde's in a bad spot as a champion right now, so it's gonna feel like a bigger nerf if you run those like items. But if you just go damage, you, it's actually kind of a buff because they buffed his HP per level for Skrull and um. And uh, they buffed his ECD by one second and the damage ratio by 5%. And Riot also said that they're going to be uh, keeping a close look at his win rate. So if it drops a lot next patch, they're going to do some more compensation buffs for like damage slash bruiser club. So we shall see. But um, I think it's going to be... A good thing in the long run. Like, I know a lot of people are frustrated that they're like getting rid of like the tank build and shit. A lot of people are really relying on it, but uh, it'll get better. You just have to change your playstyle up a bit to more damage you. The Bruiser replace stalls again. It's the Buse on fire Titanic anymore. That needs better skins. True. But the issue with that is uh, obviously Clyde's not a very popular champion, so Riot doesn't really make skins for like less popular champs, right? So we're kind of just. Stuck. I could have probably flashed under there and killed her, but. Oh, I just saw the minion. Oopsies. We do a little trolling. Oh, that's not what I want, but I want this. Bro. Ah, I can't click. First game on, so I'm like, I always misclick so much my first game. Whatever, not bad. I'm gonna go Ravenous Rush, I think, this game, though.
not sure what I'm supposed to do here, if I'm being honest. I'm pretty oom right now. And I'm very low. Don't go in, man, I can't help you. I think I'm fine actually now. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel like Grace is still up here. An enemy has been slain. I didn't think his E was already... Actually, I guess he didn't E. I don't know what he's doing, honestly. He already used her TP, so I'm in a good spot at least to push that out, but that was really bad level. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Boom, Alright. How do you do with tanks? You just have to slowly poke him out. Oh, once you get them to like around like half HP, you can try to look for all ins. But I mostly just look on. Uh, I mostly focus on just like getting good CS and tank lanes, and freezing on them. So they have to like overextend, and your jungle can just come and gank. Or yeah, if they overextend, you just get to harass them for free. And Kaiju, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, you just don't want to like rush anything in tank lanes. Because they will eventually outscale you if uh, you just give them. No. Oh, this champ is very fun to play against. Push because she has the back here. Oh, I get some plates now. Shut down. I go for like one plate, probably. Maybe two. Shut down. I do one and then just clear the wave and back. She has no parry, so it's good if my Shaco just does something, man. Bro, he almost got me killed. I'm always pinging him, and he started recalling. Like, he walked over, and then he, like, tried recalling. That's so weird. Whatever, at least it's still work, Doug. It's really sketch. No one's place. Keep crit, still. Yeah, it's it's really bad to play early because I'm not gonna be able to win. How's Clud feel this season? He feels okay, I guess. He's obviously he's not great right now. He's still in a pretty mess spot because of the meta and stuff. But uh, it's not like. I feel like last season he felt a little bit worse, 
but he still feels pretty bad at the moment. But they're working, like they're doing a little like mini rework to him next patch, and they said they're gonna be like observing his win rate and stuff pretty closely. So if he drops in win rate after this mini rework, they're gonna rebuff him for like damage he cleds. So I'd say within the next like month or two, he's gonna feel a little bit better for sure. Gotta hope everything goes well. Enemy rampage. Probably start with Titanic. Uh, they're what's it called? Uh, they are Enemy gonna be nerfing the Titanic on fire on all those items next patch because uh, they're reverting his health from bonus HP from on Scarl to just base HP. So those items aren't gonna be very abusable anymore. They're not gonna be super strong on him anymore next patch. So I'm just getting used to new different builds now. Plus. Uh, when I go at clips, I just prefer Robbins anyways, but, yeah. There's no point in getting, like, super used to the Titanic, like, Titanic's build, since, yeah, it's not gonna be that strong next patch. Better to get used to other stuff. Plus, I just enjoy more damage play playstyles anyways. Empty Dread. Uh, well, I, this champion right here is always the most annoying one because she just hits my champion the hardest, but, uh, yeah, like, any, like, hard, hard counter that Clyde, like, Jax, Fiora, Camille, all are, like, super, super annoying. I could have flashed, but I think I want my flash. No. Oh, I missed the cannon. So I at least ran out. Bye bye. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Oh, never mind. I'll just kill you both. You have slain an enemy. So I step behind the minion so he doesn't burst me. Play behind the minion so he can't auto me. And it's just too free. Alright, we can push out this wave because she has no TP now. And there's no jungler in the way. Good, good. They trolled it. I got 900 gold from my careers. He was 6 and 1 apparently. Interesting. I do not feel like a 6 and 1 Graves, but. Yes. Come here. Come out of picks and not a good time for Clyde. Yeah. Honestly, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go Yomos. I'm gonna go Yomos second. And then I'll get my Eclipse third. Not bad. Fiora's parry is so early for some reason. He's dead. Oh, never mind. Just flash. That was a lethal temple coming in clutch there. That fight, though. That was nice. Parry balanced rune. I'm sure I just kill Graves if he comes. Has 
I agree. I don't think it matters though. That my lethal proc. That's why I wasn't scared there because I have lethal tempo for the attack speed buff. Even though she slows my attack speed a bit from carrying, it doesn't really matter that much. I have lethal, the extra attack speed. But basically it makes up for uh, the lost attack speed there. Alright, now we'll go our core Junker. Or not core Junker, uh, Eclipse. But yeah, I've been liking this more damage you build recently. It's felt pretty good. <laughs> and it's gonna be even better next patch with the changes. Getting a little bit of extra health on Skarl. And your E is getting a slight buff for the AD ratio and the CD. So it's gonna feel a little bit better. Are runes? Uh, yeah, those are the runes right there, actually. If you type runes in chat, I expect to run runes while I'm in game, and it should always pop up. Unless it's the bot's bug, and I can always like, do this as well. I might do some more PPE games later, we'll see. I only did about one game last night that I uploaded to YouTube. If you do extra short new video, you guys can check that out if you haven't already. Well, there actually was a bug, uh, but uh, I talked to a rider and I'm pretty sure they fixed it. So, at least they uh, got to it quickly. I think I added him on Twitter, the uh, main guy that was the Patches. And uh, he got back to me within like literally like two minutes of me adding him. Nice. And also the true sight bug that you just saw there, like on the current patch, uh, is fixed. Because it wasn't just a clad bug apparently. Apparently true sight in general got bugged when they had out the preseason patch, but it's fixed on PB you now. So next patch, uh, your Q&E will get true sight again, which is nice. Like we bugged. Yeah, I want to check still to make sure there's no other like major bugs on PBU. It looks like all the dragons and stuff were working fine, so I'm pretty sure that was like the only like major bug. But listen, I'm gonna test it out more still, just in case. How you doing, Diego? Is it Diego? My bad, I was that. And uh, Eo, Spartan, Aras, uh, Gek, Blue Eyes. I do. I guess I'll do them. No, it's what I don't like mushrooms. Yeah, it's gonna end it. Pog pog. Yeah. 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 About to be three items over the cap. That's a little bit too rough. She's actually- I didn't realize how fed she was. An ally has been slain. My bud. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of a more this game for sure. I saw my pink word for a long sword. I mean, she has no ult now, at least, for the fight. That's my bad, though. Got the little to greet you. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That was interesting. That's unfortunate. Your 
turret has been destroyed. I keep my eyes open. Oh, An ally has been slain. Oh my god, I almost died to the turret. Oh, that's unlucky. Whatever. I mean, they should both die now. Nice. Oh, okay, I, well, I'm at three items now. That's good. Oh, this is an awkward fight there. That worked out still though, I think. Because, yeah, I get my Mythic. I like this. I like to run a three item core, which means of Ghost, Eclipse, Ghost Blade, Ravenous. But I don't know which is best order. Any advice? Um. Yeah, I think those three items are really good for sure. Like, that's why I like running as well. For items, I usually would say you want to get the Ravenous pretty early on. And uh, the Yomus is the situation. Like, you can sometimes even rush your uh, Yomus first, but if you are gonna go Yomus rush, I'd usually say to go Ravenous second, and then get Eclipse third, like I did this game. You could also do it the other way, though, where you go, like, Ravenous Eclipse and then Yomus third. It's not bad either. Like, rushing Eclipse isn't terrible, but I usually prefer to wait until, like, a second or third item to get my Eclipse. But I'll just get, like, either Wave Flare from Ravenous or a little bit of extra burst from Yomus early on. Boost speed and stuff in case. Uh, it's just preference, honestly. You could technically do them in either, like, any order, but that's usually what I do. I'm coming! Shinko! Oh my god, he got one top. Wait. Are you kidding me? He didn't have vision. Yeah, whatever. That sucks. I mean, I probably wasn't gonna be able to kill her anyways, but fortunate. Kali and Graves are both pretty fed. This one. I might go hole breaker, honestly. Are you fucking- Bro, they're using three ults on me. They used three ults. Wait, why is my MF bot lane? I just realized. What? Ah. Wait, why is my bot ADC still pushing? I was just playing on the PV patch right now for uh, the true side thing because, yeah, I would have been able to maybe kill a collie there with I had the true side on my key there. But we're still on live patch, so it's still bugged. Boge. Hey, how's it going, CW? Are you sure? Yeah. Pretty sure we can get it from this run. I'm gonna melt these turrets at least. 
Just don't all die. Your team has destroyed a turret. Why can my team doesn't all get killed here? Like, bro, he's so tanky, actually. I kind of need to get a cleaver. I want to get this. I'm gonna go Hullbreaker because I think I feel like I'm just gonna be split pushing the whole game, and I want to just bring them to bots. I'm a bring the bot when two to three come on me to turn. Or we're infinite. What? I just forced a 4v5. Or 3v5. That's on push. He has going Clutzy though. Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good as well. Holy shit. Holy shit. Get the Akali just one shots me, man. Uh... Yeah, no, I think this game might just be over actually. My team into too hard. Really hard for me to do anything. They seem to not do anything there and just wait for me to pressure, and then when they come on me, they can uh, leave. Or like, can get a Baron, but they decided to force a bad fight for no reason. Unfortunate. And once I get my Hellbreaker, I won't get one shot at least by Akali. Because of the resistances, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough, honestly, at this rate. Because she's only gonna be four items in a second. I'll have to go like a Wits End Lost or something. <sighs> well, this really sucks, Pun. Unfortunate way to go out. Or to start the day. Another one where it's like we got ahead early, but the game's just super hard because of their champs. Off that they are. I could also go with Cleaver or something, or Shiraldos and Stubs. For Burris. I'm gonna be greedy, I'm gonna do this. I would usually just build gargles, right? But um I wanna get used to like not being able to like disabuse gargles and stuff for the next patch. For Heimer, Leandres versus tanks, Loons versus squishes, yeah. Probably. I mean I don't really play Heimer, so I don't know, but I'd assume that's probably pretty solid. Leandres against tank here members and one. And go like the Ludens or something, like, or more damage you. Yeah. Item or mythics. With the squishies from a burst. My pike just got us both killed. Fuck. Yeah. An 
I wanted to help him. I think I don't have my, um, what's it called? I'll break her when I'm with him, so I get one top. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be playing around that guy, though. He's pretty far behind. A lot of pen right now. It's hard. Guys get one shot by everything. And the thing is, if I go tippers like tankier, it's not gonna make much of a difference. I see to hopefully burst them before they burst me. Cause they'll just have DPS me anyways. I'm just going like really damage this game. Ah, he is on his run. Still such a hard game, man. Uh, no, we killed him. We'll see though. We shall try to win. Okay, one full build now at least. My thing is, I am still really squishy. Forty-one percent pun. This doesn't stack straight up. But 41% is still like really insane. Will there be any high level games today? Like, you mean like GM Plus? Uh, maybe. Let's see. I might play some. The only thing is, queue times are just super long in the morning. That's why I was like hesitant on doing it first thing. But we might do some. We'll see. I'm in the mood too. I feel like I'm playing well. He's got a clear waves right now. I can kill the few out of 1v1. I have not been able to use my Hellbreaker at all this game. Is there stupid berry, man? Uh, whatever, we lose. Three are just too tanky. Yara does 2,000 true damage to me. Fog. The 4 and 9, the 2,000 true damage. Let's go. One champion design. I have lethal games. Hmm. Nothing else for me to. It's actually just impossible. 
I don't think I can even kill Fiora in a side lane, actually. Like, I, I won't die to her, but I, I don't think I can really kill her. I'll... I don't know, though. Right, they're just griefing the whole game, though. Wait, that is grief so hard. I'm 1 HP though. Oh, never mind. They somehow got out. Or, I don't know what happened there. Ah, the game's over actually if we lost. I'm pretty sure if yours is gonna TP end. Or maybe not. Uh, I I'm pretty sure Pike like tried to go for a Q or some shit and had his ulting. So then they didn't die, and he got one shot. Yeah, they get rip. Unfortunate one. It's just impossible for me to team fight. I'm just gonna sell this at this point. Just get like a death stance. Yeah, actually, I can go start. Go start. Actually, no. I got death stance. I was thinking I need a more of them, I think I one. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Oh, awkward. Or do I just build gargoyles? Because of this game. You know what, fuck it, I'll just build it now. Even though I usually wouldn't build it because, you know. As I mentioned, I want to get used to the other patch, I'll just build it now, because... This game is gonna be really hard. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. I feel like I'm just gonna get one shot anyways. We'll see though. But yeah, the uh, Hallbreaker has been so useless this game. Oh, glad the uh, videos and streams are helping you out. Oh, nice! The stupid El Elder Dragon bug thing happened where even though I was remounted, I still got hit by the Elder Frog, so it dismounted me. Bug. So, yeah. Plus one. I'm pretty sure I actually would have killed him there too. But whatever, I mean, the game's just doomed, anyways, I think. That's really unfortunate.